Mike Check 1212, man. We're here with one of my big homies, man, Mr. Nico. Man, you've been doing some big things, man. And I want to say, man, I'm definitely proud of the music and the stuff that you're doing, man. So, Nico, I think we all want to know, where are you originally from? Brooklyn, New York. I'm Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn born, raised in the heart of Brooklyn. And how long have you been in ATL? Man, I've been here about, I'd say about seven, eight months off and on, because I fly back and forth. So I'm just here working right now, taking care of business. And uh, I like the energy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get in the mess of the mess. Let's get into the mess. Come on. Okay. So when Stevie J threw that money at you, yeah, how did that make you feel? 61s. Was it 61s? Yeah, that's what it was. 61s. You, you, you got $60 in your pocket? <laughs> Let's change that into ones and throw that in here. Yeah. That's what he's playing with. Yeah, what else? Yeah, 61. And so we're not on the Thursday park here, we're on the Friday park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what's today? Today is Friday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the Let's Friday night. Let's look at the night. Friday park. What's the Friday, Friday park? We got the Friday night. But that day we had the Thursday night. That was about six, 7000 I took out of my pocket. I could have threw it up, should have threw it up, but it would have been pandemonium on the stage. It would have been the whole reality show. Really? The whole reunion. So are you and Mimi dating now? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still rock. Okay. Yeah. So where is she? She's in Alabama right now doing a walkthrough. Yeah. Okay, so was the, the Rolex yeah. situation? Yeah, nothing was ticking. Real you see that? That's, that's, that? Is that sweeping or, or is that ticking? Talk to me. You see a sweeping or ticking? It, it's sweeping, definitely right? sweeping. There you go. All right, so we got However, that answer. However, was Mimi's that sweeping answer. though? Of course. Was of course okay. it was sweeping. So why do you feel that Stevie J brought that about saying that it was ticking? Because the show needs drama. You got to have some kind of controversy, some kind of drama to re increase the ratings. So he had to say something, and they put him up to that. So that's what went on. You know? So do you see similarities in you and Stevie J? I mean, other than us doing the music, I mean, we know each other for a long time. But other, other than us being producers, yeah, that's a similarity. We both produce music. You know, we, we, we're geniuses in what we do. I'm a genius in what I do, and he feels he's a genius in what he do, and that's our respect. But I'm an artist as well, so I can do both sides of it very well. So the similarity in the music, yeah, of course it's there, yeah. Because honestly, I see it, and I think the rest of the world sees it yeah. also. I was just wondering how yeah, you yeah, felt it's about all that. Good. So did you look at television like, oh wow, he played me, or did you look at television like, that's what fun. it is? I have fun, man. Yeah. TV, I, you know, as much stuff as I've been through in my lifetime, this is fun to me. This is opportunity. It's fun to me. You know, I'm, I got great exposure out of this. Thank you, VH1. And I'm able to increase my brand and give you people a part of me that y'all don't know. So don't go by the TV screen. We'll get to know me in person when you see me in, in your streets, in your area, and you, you know wherever you see me at. Talk to me. See what I'm about. Understand who I am. Understand where I come from, my background. And then you'll get to know more about me. So on that note, that's how we got to leave it. Well, you know thank I mean? you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And there you have it, Mr. Nico. There we are, UG. <laughs> that's where we come. Let's go, media. But it's going down, man. Hey, let the fans out there know a little something about the music and the things that you got coming up. Hey, what's up? WRUG. This is Nico. So I got the project coming out, Nico London from Brooklyn to Brixton. Um, that's coming out. I got the next single that's probably going to reach in about two weeks. It's called um, Under the Spotlight. So I'm going to be bringing you out great music in 2014. The rest of this year, I'm going to finish out with a, with a bang. <laughs> the brand, Unstoppable Fitness. You know, I'm all about the health and body sculpting. So... Right now, what I'm doing is the music and the fitness. So follow me on Twitter, Nico XO, Instagram, Nico the One. And I got a lot of great things coming at y'all. Support me if you like it. Stay with me if you don't. Go to the next page. But that's the things I'm doing right now. That's what's up, man. So how are we going to be able to get in shape? Is it natural? You're going to be doing some like aerobics, DVDs, or different yeah, things like that? Well, well, I got three forms of training. I got interval training, cross fitness training, and then calisthenics. So I can show you how to lose weight and burn fat and increase your mass by the, the forms that I got, the formulas that I got. But I got a, I got a page that I'm about to put up, a YouTube channel I'm about to put up that's going to demonstrate all of that. Because I be getting questions in every time I go to the gym, how you get your body looking like that? Do you take supplements? Do you do this? And really, I don't. So I have simple methods that if you follow it, in 30 days you'll see an increase and you'll see a change. I'm going to start a boot camp soon. I'm going to do one in L.A. and I'm going to do one in Atlanta. So follow me. Keep looking out for that. I'm definitely joining up. You know, I got a few yeah. pounds I need to share.